Good Monday morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Natasha Hazlett, and if this is your first time joining me on a live cast, I help entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs to get the clarity, confidence, and strategy that they need to boost their income and their level of impact and influence in the world. So, today I was going to, I knew exactly what I was going to talk to you all about. Uh, super, super excited about it. It's about a message that I received um, last week um, through Facebook um, from someone, and I was uh, I was super excited. Um, but this morning, um, I was watching um, a, a video of a woman in a group that I'm a part of, and it totally caused me to change everything that I was going to share with you all today. Um, this is, hi Jessica, hey Christy. Um, I, when I have these feelings, like um, some, a message has been placed on my heart, I just go with it. Um, because I know that in these times, there's someone that out there, or someones out there, that are supposed to um, hear these words um, and so that's where I'm coming from today and uh, I, I think it's it's applicable to everyone and this is really for um, the ladies out there although it's applicable to the guys this is for the ladies so hi Annalise um, so here's what we've got so this morning I am in this Facebook group where um, it's called, um, the group is called Badass Permission Slip. It's my friend uh, Juju Hook's program. And I was watching a video of a woman, she's a coach, and she was boldly declaring what she wanted. And watching her on this video, it's about a five minute video, I could feel the fear and the exhilaration and you know the doubt like everything this woman as she was boldly declaring I will do this and now y'all know if you've watched my live cast I the thing that I stress over and over and over again good morning Rhonda is that you have to decide what you want you have to cut off all the other options and you've got to boldly decide and declare what it is that you want and and this is what this woman was doing. And she was boldly declaring this in the midst of her fears. And that emotion that came through on her video just stuck with me. I could feel it. And I, I think that, um, first of all, this woman is exceptional because she boldly declared exactly what she wanted even though she was terrified. She was stepping out on faith in the midst of her fear. And that is amazing and exceptional in and of itself. But that said, um, also over the past five days, hi Sue, good morning, hi G. So also over the past five days, I've watched other women step out on faith in the midst of their fear. Um, they're launching workshops for the very first time and I can see when I can hear them when they're talking about this workshop that they are scared shitless sorry mom they are so scared but they do it anyway I've watched people launching books this week and they are scared to death and I can I can see it in their posts it's weird I just they're not saying anything but I just I know the person and I know how terrified they are. And there's this feeling within them that they're a fraud, that they're fake, that they don't really know what the hell they're doing and that someone's gonna find them out. And um, I think the, way, the reason why I resonate with those feelings so much is because I've had those. I have those feelings myself far more than I would like to admit. Um, you feel this, am I really good enough? Am I really worthy enough to do this? You know, 
how can I, especially for those of y'all, a lot of you guys uh, that follow me are coaches and consultants, um, your mentors uh, to others, your teachers, your trainers. And in this, this space, you feel like, gosh, I don't even have all my shit together. How can I help someone else? Um, for my friends out there that are moms, I know you feel this way because I feel this way. Gosh, am I faking it? Am I just some huge fraud, good morning Holly, that is gonna be found out? I don't feel like I'm good enough to be a mom. I'm not good enough to be a wife. I'm probably screwing all this stuff up. I'm gonna screw up my kid's life. I'm gonna screw up my marriage. I'm gonna, people aren't gonna really like me. They're not gonna, they're not going to, uh, they're not gonna wanna continue with me. Or if they start with me, they start working with me, they're gonna realize I'm really not that great. And those are all fears that we all have, but you have to be willing to push through them. And what I'll tell you is you're fine. You're fine. You're capable. You are worthy. And you have a gift and you have to be willing to put yourself out there and be the very best coach, mentor, trainer, mom, lawyer, doctor, whatever you are. Uh, you're not a fraud. You're not a phony. You just need to put yourself out there and be willing to step out on faith in the midst of your fear. Okay? Um, gosh. I was going to say something and now I totally forgot because this is for real. This is live. <laughs> so one of the examples, I remember what it is now. Um, one of the best examples that I give to my clients when I'm working with them, when they are so scared and they feel like I really can't do this. I really can't do this. I remind them that, you know, there are coaches of Olympic athletes, a gold medal Olympic athletes that have never won an Olympic gold medal in their life. Does that mean that then they are, they are not worthy enough to train someone to become a gold medal athlete? No, that doesn't mean that. It means that that coach is gifted in that specific area to help that specific person excel, right? So for a lot of you guys that are going out in this world as coaches, consultants, trainers, mentors, uh, teachers, and you feel like, gosh, how can I help these people if I don't even have all my ducks in a row? If you have been gifted with the talent of helping people, you just need to step into that and do what it is that you've been gifted to do. And let go of the self-doubt. Let go of the feelings of a lack of self-worth and step out on faith in the midst of your fear. Um, if you have been prompted to do something um, and it's something that's gonna benefit someone else, if it's going to help someone else, you need to go out there and do it. Even if you don't feel fully prepared. Um, I believe that that's something that God has placed on your heart. And if God's placed it on your heart, then you need to go out there and do it. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like today's message. I was totally planning to do something else. Talk about something totally different. But instead, I was really overcome with this feeling, good morning Sandy, good morning Brooke, um, that I had to share this, that message with you. That you're good enough, you're worthy enough, you're doing an awesome job. I believe in you and I know that you're supposed to be doing really amazing things. So remember that you are not alone. You're not alone in this journey. 
And, um, you know, for those of you that are super scared to go out on a limb and do something, if you're a praying person, pray. If you're a meditating person, meditate, because you are not alone. Uh, you're not alone in your fears. You're not in your, alone in your feelings of self-doubt. You're not alone in your feelings of, am I, am I worthy enough to do this? Am I good enough to do this? You're not alone. But be willing to step out on faith in the midst of your fear. Um, that is how you're going to fulfill your mission in life, your purpose in life. And uh, my favorite, I'll end today with my very favorite um, quote by Basil King. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. So you just got to do it. You just got to do it today. Whatever you've been thinking about, um, whatever you've been afraid to launch, do, say, uh, whatever that is today, step out on faith in the midst of your fear and watch what happens um, because you are ready and you are capable and you are worth it. And what you're planning to do is going to change lives. So go out there and do it. So that's what I've got for y'all today. Hope you have an amazing week and I will see y'all in my next live cast. Bye y'all.